Hello folks, welcome to Time Games Lab. This is a quick tutorial teaching how to achieve a nice transition effect in your game using a game object. So let's take a look at what we will start with. It's basically just two rooms with two buttons and they just go, they switch between rooms with using code like room go to next and that's it. Then we're gonna create the effect from that. Okay, so let's start by creating a new object. Let's call it old transition and let's add a create event and some code to it. There we go. And I want to start by creating a numerator, a numerator trans, so I can keep track of all my different uh, states. It's going to be out and in and I'm going to set transition to trans.out. So I'm going to start by transitioning out of the room. I'm going to set my steps to 32 and my radius to zero. That's basically for the shape. I'm going to set persistence and I'm going to set the depth to minus 99.9. So in front of everything, let's add some step event. And it's going to start with a switching of transition variable. So it's my state machine there. And case trans dot out break and case trans dot in and break. Okay, so I just set up the state machine. Let's start coding inside it. So transitioning out, I want to check if my radius is greater than or equal to max. And I'm going to write a lot of things here. Basically, I'm checking my point distance of my X and Y position to the top left corner of the room, zero, zero. Let me copy this and paste it four times. So on the second time, I want to check. So, yep, I'm just close this and close the if statement. Perfect. So I want to check also between my X and Y position and the room width zero. So that's the top right position. So zero room height. That's the bottom left position of the room and the room width and room right. That's the bottom right position of the room. So I'm checking if my radius is greater or equal than all of these guys. And if it is, I'm going to set my transition to transition to trans.in. And if I'm on room zero, I want to switch to room go to next, room go to next. And now I want a room goes to previous. That's basically just to switch between rooms for the purpose of this tutorial. In this case, you'd switch to the room you want to go when actually running the transition. And the last thing I want to do on this state is add 20 to my radius. So the circle will increase. And on my transition radius, I want an if statement. So if target exists, instance exists target. I want to check if my target exists. I'm, we're going to set it later. I want to set my X and Y position to target.x and target.y. This is where it's going to run the in transition. And I want to check my radius if it's less than equal to zero. If it is, I want to destroy myself, instance of destroy self. And if it's not else, I want to decrease my radius by 20 pixels also. So this way I get the in and out transition of the circle. Let's add a draw event. My draw event, I'm going to start by checking my radius. If radius is above zero. And then I'm going to start setting my steps. Steps equals 32 plus radius div 16. This is just to slowly increase the number of points on my circle. And I'm going to draw set color, make color RGB, 211, 217, 90. So I got a nice greenish shade and I'm gonna draw set primitive begin sorry primitive begin and it's gonna be PR triangle fan that's the type of primitive we're gonna use and let's set a for loop for i equals zero i less than the number of the steps i plus equals one okay and let's open this loop up and I'm gonna draw vertex so draw vertex and my position, x position is going to be x plus length there in the x direction of my radius and 30, 360 times i divided by steps. Perfect, that's my direction. And my y is going to be similar, so it's going to be y plus length there, y. And 
let's open it up, the length is going to be radius and the direction is going to be 36 times 1 divided by steps, perfect. And let's close the primitive, so draw primitive end, okay, sorry, I need a V, perfect. So with that, we're done with the transition object, let me go to the button objects. So I have this room go to next, or room go to, I'm going to erase, and I'm going to create a variable instance, and it's going to be an instance create, x and y position of object transition. And now we're going to have to set the target, so inst.target is going to be object button 2. So when I switch rooms, it knows where it's going to do the in transition, where it shrinks. So I'm going to do the same for my other object, I'm just going to switch, switch the targets around, and let's test it out. And let's click the button and you see it's perfect. So it's transitioning between rooms and it's growing, expanding all the way to reach the maximum distance to any of the four corners. And when it shrinks in, it shrinks into the different button of the other room, so it's a different position. If you like this content and want to see me making more of it, please click on that like button and on that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.